morning oh welcome back to my youtube channel my name is emily ray if it is your first time here and if it's not your first time here thank you so much for coming back to another weekly vlog today is tuesday the 13th i'm only wearing one earring let me take that out because i look like a pirate anyway i am just um laying in the bed it is the morning the day before valentine's day i have to close tonight so i'm just laying in the bed reading sipping on a monster but i need to get dressed so let's do that really quick and just like that your girl's dressed like i said i'm just relaxing so far this morning reading right now i am reading reckless on my kindle it is a book in the um, chestnut spring series which I am loving the cowboy romance. Oh my god. I never thought like that that would be a genre or niche that I would be eating up like I am, but I'm eating it up like so much so that I'm looking for other cowboy romance book series. So if you know any, um please let me know. Like I said, right now I'm reading The Chestnut Spring. I have read Heartless, I have read Powerless. And I am listening to Flawless on Audible. I'm about 30% through that. And then I'm reading... Hold on. I'm listening to Flawless on Audible. And I'm reading Reckless. So, like, there's not really... I mean, there is a little bit of spoilers. In the, but you don't have to read them in order. So, I'm reading two of them at one time. But that's just because I'm a little bit crazy. Anyway, I'm loving the series. And there's going to be... There's one more hopeless so after i get done with these two i'll have four of the books in the series done and i'll need to read hopeless of course someone's calling me my boss man is in the park in indianapolis about the park is calling the yard okay you ride with me all right all right love you love you too. break this freaking lens this is my chihuahua toby he is older he's eight let me let him outside so he is older and my lab honey does not get along with most dogs she only gets along with callie and we still have to watch her with callie so you don't see toby very much he stays in the mother-in-law suite where my sister lives and she has assumed responsibility for him, so she takes care of him. So you don't really see him. You pretty much see my other dogs in my videos. Not a whole lot of Mr. Toby. But I had Toby. I got Toby a couple of years before I got married. I've been married for almost six years. And then when I got married, we got Honey. And it just <laughs> ended up being toby moving into sarah's room and then now we have a bigger house and a mother-in-law suite so they have their own side of their house but i'm trying to get better at like helping with him and letting him out more like when she's not home and bathing him and grooming him more i am one page 38 and so far i'm really liking a touch of darkness i am just relaxing in bed with callie she's really not supposed to be up here she's supposed to be in the blanket at the end of the bed but what daddy doesn't know can't hurt him and hopefully he doesn't watch this video if you're watching <clears throat> i'm not sorry um, yes, so anyway, I really like Hades and Persephone's retellings. There's another series about, um, Greek gods, and it is Neon Gods, Radiant Sin. But Neon Gods is Hades and Persephone, and I think that was probably my favorite in the series, and it was the first one. Um, Dark Olympus by Katie Robert. So it's the Dark Olympus series by Katie Robert. 
and Neon Gods is the first book. And then you have Electric Idol, Wicked Beauty, Radio, Radiant Sin, <clears throat> Cruel Seduction, Midnight Ruin, and Dark Restraint. So I have read the first four, so I still have to read the last three. And let me see if it's on Kindle Unlimited, because if it's not on Kindle Unlimited, I need to get my hands on those books, because I love... books with the greek gods and they're always like pretty smutty so if you don't like smut you're not going to like the dark olympus series or the um i don't know what this series is called but it's the first one is a touch of darkness so yeah those are not on kindle unlimited so if a book is on kindle unlimited i'm um, trying not to buy it um i did buy a touch of darkness a touch of malice and a touch of ruin a long time ago and this series is on kindle unlimited so the good thing about that is i can go back and forth with um reading the physical copy and reading like on my phone or on my kindle which i love i feel like i get through a book so much faster if i could read them on both or both ways so that's kind of how I got through Sarah J Mass House of Flame and Shadow so quickly it's because I had it the physical copy and I had it I bought it on Kindle just because I love Sarah J Mass so much and then I also had it on Audible so like whenever I was too tired to read I would um, play on Audible and like follow along in the physical book which is um, definitely a like frivolous so i'm blessed to have been able to do that do that but you guys i get so invested in books so to me it was totally worth it but anyway i'm gonna get back to reading it is 11 o'clock so i've still got a few hours before i have to go to work and yeah i'm just relaxing as much as possible before i go So, just got some stuff delivered. Not a whole bunch. So, I got two packs of these lemon sparkling waters that I make my lemonade with that tastes like Sprite. So, if, like, this is your first time watching one of my vlogs, then you wouldn't know. But I like to mix the lemon sparkling water with crystal light, and it tastes just like Sprite. So, I've got red grapes strawberries. This baby bell cheese is for my daughter because I don't eat dairy. I got this Aldi's brand popcorn. I'm going to see how it compares to the lesser evil popcorn as far as flavor wise. Hey baby. Hey. And then I got four packs of jasmine rice. I didn't get a lot of groceries today, y'all. Like $50 worth of groceries. Two bags of medium peeled shrimp because my baby loves shrimp. And then I have the big pack of ground turkey. So, it's crazy. This is not a lot and it was $50. I guess the meat is like the only thing that was expensive. Well, and then I did get the two things of water. I'm going to put one thing in the fridge. And put one in the freezer. And then, will you put the water up for me, please? Yes. Okay. So I'm watching Shanasi Schroeder's 24-hour reading readathon on YouTube. And I have been reading the Chestnut Spring series. I just talked about that. But I'm craving a little bit of fantasy. So... I think I'm gonna pick this up and see if I can get into this because I don't know I feel like every couple of books I've got to have a touch of magic 
So, anyway, this is at Hades and at Persephone retelling. And there's three books in this series, I want to say, and I have them all. It's A Touch of Darkness, A Touch of Ruin, and A Touch of Malice. I think that I might have said that out of order, but this is the first one. So, anyway, I'm going to read that now. We'll start reading it. Like, I can, I said this before, I can read tons of books at one time. And I remember the plot line. Like, I can bounce back and forth. I don't... I'm not, like, just one track-minded when it comes to books. I can read several, put it down for a couple of days, pick it up in a couple of days. I'm a mood reader, so that's what mood reading is. If you have trouble getting into, like, reading, that might be the problem. Don't force yourself to read something that you don't feel like reading at the time. Yes, I'm loving the ch chestnut spring. But I'm really wanting to read some fantasy right now. So that's what I'm going to do. 17% of the way in. My hand has got writing on it from yesterday. This is... Whoops. A Touch of Darkness. Hades and Persephone. I'm on chapter 5. Chilling with Callie. It is. This is what I'm wearing to work today. I've got my little bow in my hair and a pink silk blouse for it's the day before Valentine's. Tomorrow, I don't know if I'm going to wear my red velvet. I don't know. I'll show you tomorrow what I wear for Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day! I want a lot of flavor in there. So we're not going anywhere. We're going to go out of town tomorrow. So we'll just wait until we go out of town to go out to eat because the restaurants are going back and it's already like 6 o'clock. Good morning. Today is another day in the vlog. Today is February the 15th. It is 10.50 in the morning. I actually slept until 9.40 today. It's the longest I've slept in as long as I can remember. Um, I'm starving. I'm absolutely starving. So I prepped some ground turkey last night, which you would have saw in last night's vlog. So I think I'm just gonna have another rice and turkey bowl, but I really want some coffee and I don't think I have any. So do I order Starbucks or do I order some groceries with coffee? I don't know. Do you know, when I have trouble making decisions, do you know what I do? I go get back in the bed. And I don't make any decision. I'm not gonna do that today. We are at Target. Target. Is that Tyler the Creator? How? You're so small. I know. I'm learning. I don't think I have this. Oh. I got this. I'm getting some slouchy socks. Flavor's getting some t-shirts. Okay, stop recording right now so I can tell you. Hey, you just, you said stop recording. Hi, good morning. Hi, I'm Joseph. Can you tell me your name? What's your name? Yeah. I'm home from Target and I just got this Maybelline Plump Lifter Lifter Plump. I don't know. 
in the color Coco Zing. So I'm gonna try it on. Guess it's supposed to make your lips plumpy. I like I really like it but beware if you do buy this it has cayenne chili pepper and pimento chili um so I guess that's what makes them plumpy because you're like having an allergic reaction <laughs> but I like that the color is so subtle so that you don't have to be like super perfect because with my lip shape I have to be very precise when putting lipstick on otherwise one side is uneven so yeah i think and it's not too sticky i think i will give this at least a 9 out of 10 and we'll see how it wears and if it wears good then i would give it a 10 out of 10. i really like it but don't get it if you like there are there were some other ones that didn't have like the chili pepper on it so if you don't want a little zing on your lips, make sure you get the ones that don't have the chili pepper on there. So there's actually another one, A Touch of Chaos, coming out on March the 10th. I thought that this was the last one um, from the Persephone's perspective, but there is going to be another one that's going to release on March the 10th. So I'm very excited about that. I just want to say while I am almost done with the first book in A Touch of Darkness, I just want to say Hades and Persephone, like Lord Jesus, yes. 10 out of 10 and when I read Neon Gods that was a Hades of Persephone retelling and even then like yes give it to me but Persephone wasn't like super powerful in Neon Gods Hades was but this this is the best Hades and Persephone retelling that I have read and I 10 out of 10 would recommend that if you like spice and you like fantasy and you like books that kind of give you more understanding of the different gods and who they were and what they did and what their special powers, powers were, even though like this is a fiction book about them, you still learn about them. So yes, I 10 out of 10 would recommend this series, A Touch of Darkness. <sighs> Okay, I'm going to finish this book up, and then I am going to finish, I think it was Reckless, yes, Reckless by Elsie Silver from the Chestnut Spring series, and then after I finish that, I think I just have Hopeless left in that series. packing for a Gatlinburg trip, so I am going to bring a pair of sweatpants. Two pairs of leggings just to be safe. Yep. 
American Eagle thing. Love these. These are so good. They're like the jeggings. So that's good for pants. We got jeans, we got leggings, we got sweatpants. And then... I'm going to bring this dress to wear with my Red Hills for date night. I normally bring a dress and then I end up staying in leggings all the time. Then I'm going to bring a couple of my BBL jackets. My Lululemon Define jacket. And I normally don't wear anything under these. Of course, it's going to be like in the 40s, I want to say. So I'm going to bring a vest. And a Columbia jacket. We are getting ready to go. We are on our way to Gatlinburg. I've got my blanket. I've got my Kindle. I've got A Touch of Ruin, the second book in the series. I also brought a book called Powerless. And I want to go to a bookstore tomorrow called the next chapter or something. I don't know. But uh, Shanasi Stroder, a YouTuber who I was watching in my last video, went to Gatlinburg on a girl's trip a couple weeks ago and they went there and it was a really cute bookstore. So now I want to go and just look around. I've never been to a bookstore in Gatlinburg. I guess like when I'm there, I never really see bookstores, so I've, and I, but I've never really looked because it's not really like on my mind. I normally have what I'm going to read with me. Um, but yeah, so we're on our way and I'll let you know when we get there. Am I in a room? I'm freezing. It is in the 30s, which is not cold to some of you, but I'm from South Alabama and it is probably in the 60s at home right now. So, I am about to go get some coffee and go to the next chapter bookstore. My husband is still napping. It is 8.54. Our time, which is 10 o'clock Gatlinburg time. So, no time to waste. We only have a couple of days here and I plan on making good of the time that we have. Okay, so I got this for us. I'm so excited. Listen, I, there's something about buying books that just, I know I said I wasn't going to waste money on unnecessary things, but books are necessary to me. They are like therapy to me, so I can either pay a therapist or I can read all these books. And the ones I bought, I don't believe any of them were on Kindle Unlimited. I'm like literally out in the sticks, so I don't have any internet service. So I tried to pull up my Kindle Unlimited and see if 
any of them were on Kindle Unlimited so that I didn't like spend money on books that I could read for free on my Kindle but no internet so um, I would like to go to a mom and pop coffee shop we'll see because you know I want to go to Starbucks and we are gonna go hiking I might wait until like noon and see if it warms up some because it was supposed to be in the 50s not the 30s like I checked the weather yesterday why is it in the 30s so I did not dress for the 30s like I had my little lemon line jacket on in this vest I'm gonna have to put on another layer if we're gonna go hiking in the 30s okay I've never been in this part of Gallenberg know what I got a brown sugar oat milk chicken espresso and I got the venti because I need energy and I'm on vacation let's turn this heat up cuz honey I didn't know it was gonna be 30 degrees I looked up the weather before we even came up here it didn't say nothing about no 30 degrees. Okay. My husband raises the steering wheel up, but I hate it. Hate it. Okay. Let me go pick him back up. Hopefully he's fed himself and gotten out of hibernation mode because I'm, I'm gonna show you the, the place we're staying in. It is right on the river so you can hear the river babble and like we're on the second story the balcony is huge and the like door the whole wall is window so you are like basically in the trees and we have the fireplace on by the window and you hear the creek the <laughs> yeah the creek whatever anyway super relaxing like i could stay here for a week and it would be like medicine We still have not started exploring. I am reading while watching booktube videos. I'm just enjoying relaxing, so we'll explore eventually.
say I'm just like hungry. I'm gonna go to Taco Bell. What, what's by our house? McDonald's. Oh, good. And the grocery store, the Food Lane grocery store. Is this the same one I went to last night? No. Well, it kinda. It's like the same thing. It's a Starbucks in it. No, nigga, the one I went to last night was tight. You went to the Food Lane? Yeah, that's what it was called. I'm back home and I'm back in the bed and I'm reading Crooked Kingdom and watching booktube videos. Right now I'm watching Rachel Catherine. Um, so the trip was amazing. We just did a lot of relaxing. Um, Saturday I took a lot of shots and we went to the arcade and then we went back to our condominium and I cooked myself a steak and potato and then went to sleep at like eight o'clock. And then I woke up at like three o'clock and like took a shower and went to the gas station cause I was like, there's nothing to drink here. Like I'm thirsty. So, then we just like sat by the fireplace and basically didn't do anything until like 5.30 and then we went back to sleep and then we woke up like around nine and then we literally just like opened the sliding door, turned the fireplace on so that we could sit by the fireplace and hear the creak and I sat there and read he was looking up all the sports stuff he always looks at and we just literally chilled and it was like that's one of my favorite vacations is just relaxing staying somewhere where the environment the environment is a vibe like the fireplace the babbling creek the being in the trees the mountain view like being away from home to where we're not having to worry about taking care of dogs, taking care of kids. It's just me and him and we're just there together. So we don't, when we're at home, we're always go, 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 go. We're working. Kids got practice. Kids got games. You know, got to do stuff for Layla. Got to take Layla to school. The dogs need to go out. The dogs need to go to the groomers. The dogs are fighting in the kitchen. Like, the house needs to be cleaned. But when you go away on vacation, it's just amazing. So, as far as reading, so I finished Flawless. Then I read a short little like novella called Riding Rough about a group retreat to a ranch and it's like a group of uh, female authors and the ranch owner is a woman who has like several fine sons and the romance springs between the main character and the oldest son I think his name was like Jasper and then Okay, so I finished Flawless. I read Riding Rough. And then I read the first book in the Hades of Persephone retelling, A Touch of Darkness. And then I read Reckless and the Chestnut Spring series. That was 
my favorite in the series so far. So I only have Hopeless less to, left to read in the series. And I'm going to read it on my Kindle probably this week. But I've read Flawless, Heartless, Powerless, and Reckless. And Reckless has been by far my favorite. Hands down. So good. So captivating. And then I read the second book in the Hades of Persephone retelling, A Touch of Ruin. Um, and I finished that last night on the drive. And then I'm also listening to Serpent. Oh, what is the name of it? Listening to The Serpent and the Wings of Night. So, like, while we were hiking, when my eyes were getting tired, I would, like, listen to that. Um, and now that I'm home, I'm looking at my books that I need to read. And where I'm looking. So, I have, like, that whole dresser full of books. But I, the ones that I have not read yet, I keep on top. And then once I read them, I put them in the dresser. And then when I buy new ones, I put them on top. And I, like, cycle them like that. Mainly so that my husband doesn't realize that I have hundreds and hundreds of books in there. Because he'll be like, Emily, what? But I really want to get, like, a bookshelf. But I don't know. We'll see. Um... So, yes, yeah, so I'm looking at that, and there's two series that I really need, well, I want to finish. So, I want to finish the Six of Crows series, so I'm reading The Crooked Kingdom, and then I really, I have Shed the Shadow and Bone trilogy, and I really want to read that, but I don't know when I'll get to that. Hopefully, I'll get to that this month or next month, and then I want to read Imagine Me, which is the last book in the Shatter Me series. And then I went to read Hopeless, which is the last book in the Chestnut Spring series. So hopefully I can finish these three series this week. We'll see. So I am reading Imagine Me. I only have this much left. 300, I'm on page 375 and there it is. 320 or 427 pages. So I have 52 pages left and then the epilogue. So I've read a lot today. Like I started this book today. I'm gonna finish this book today and I've read like 50 pages in Crooked Kingdom and this book was just calling to me on the shelf so I stopped reading Crooked Kingdom and I picked this up and I'm not sure if I want to pick Crooked Kingdom back up next or if I want to read A Touch of Malice. So. I'm pretty sure in this video, I've read A Touch of Darkness and A Touch of Ruin. I know I've read A Touch of Ruin in here, but I think I had the first one in here too. So it would be cool for me to read all three, right, in one video, which I'm still finishing up a series. I said I wanted to wrap up a series that I'm in the middle of, so this would be um, finishing up the series. So with that series, the A Touch of Darkness, I was not reading Hades Perspective. There's like books, like I think it's like a touch of fate and something. There's I think three of them um, that are like the same story told from Hades Perspective. I don't care about none of that. Just like in the Shattery series, there's novellas. Like the series came out and then they went back and wrote novellas in between from different perspectives. It's the same story. I don't want to read the same story told from different perspectives. That's boring. There's so many stories out there for me to read. For me to be reading the same story told from different perspectives. No, thank you. If you wanted me to know the perspective, 
I called it in the main book. I, I don't want to do that. Don't make me do it. Anyway, but the covers on these are so beautiful. So, I don't know. I'm really, I really love this series. Will I ever, like, reread it? Probably not. I think that, like, the only books that I would reread would be Sarah J. Mass. So, eventually, I want to reread Akatar. I want to reread um, Throne of Glass. But I don't ever see myself reading the series again. But I do love the covers. So, I don't know if, like, this is a series that I'll resell or will I keep them. I don't know. Because I don't, like, put all my books on displays. I hide them in a dresser so that my husband doesn't know how many books that I have. Because I have a lot. Okay, so I'm going to finish this. And... I mean, it's definitely going to be a five star. If, if I read a book in one day and it's a 400 and how many pages did I say? A 427 page book and I read it in one day, even after reading 50 pages of another book, the book's a five star. Like there's not even up for discussion. Okay. All right. This right here. This. Here. This. My bones against his bones. This is my home. <laughs> so today is my last day in my vacation. It is actually 3.20 in the afternoon. And it's gonna be the final day in this weekly vlog. It is Tuesday, February the 20th. So I said that I was gonna be reading books in series that I'm working on to try to finish them up. I finished Imagine Me last night and this morning I just didn't feel like reading A Touch of Malice. Honey wants to go outside. So I decided to pick up one of the books that I read or that I purchased when I was in Gatlinburg and it's The Housemaid by Frieda McFadden. You guys, I started this book this morning and I'm done with it. I could not put the book down. I could not put it down. This is the first book of hers I have read and I am officially upset. So, you know, if you, if you saw me shopping earlier in this vlog, I bought the housemaid from her and I bought the teacher. So, I really want to read the teacher, but I'm like, can my brain handle two thrillers in one day? I don't know. We're going to find out because I'm about to pick up another book because, like, this is what I wanted to do on my vacation was relax and read. So, I don't even know how many books I've read on my vacation at this point. Five or six? A lot. So, anyway, this freaking book, you guys. It, I don't care if you're not even a thriller reader. Pick this book up. Pick the book up. The freaking plot twist. I never saw coming. I, I never saw coming. Any of them. Like, first it twisted one way. Then it twisted the other. I couldn't keep up. Book is at five stars. Ten out of ten. 10 out of 10. I love it. This See, I love books when abusive men get their effing payback. Like, give it to them. But in this situation, I'm not going to spoil it. No spoilers. I'm not going to spoil it for you. But he does get, he gets, he gets what's coming to him. So, clearly you can tell someone's locked in a room That's all that I'm gonna say. That's the only, that's not even a spoiler because the freaking picture on the cover tells you that much. Five star read. My favorite 
read that I have read on my vacation. First book I've ever read by her, and now I'm gonna read every single one. I wanna read Never Lie, I wanna read The Teacher, I wanna read The Second, The Housemaid, and I think there's a third one that's gonna come out. Anyway, now I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with her now.